Hi, today we have an amazing recipe of mung beans and it is delicious. Eat delicious and lose weight with Chef Pachi. Today we have an amazing recipe. It is a Latin recipe of something we make with another bean like it that is called guandu. We can use it fresh. If you use the fresh beans, use four cups. If you use the dry, just use a pound and they will rehydrate into about four cups. Now we're gonna place our mung beans into our water and we're gonna leave them there overnight for at least six hours. Look at those beans, they look beautiful. Wait and see what they look like when they're out of that water, how they've absorbed everything in that water. You're gonna see, I love them. They're beautiful and they are delicious. Look at this, you see, they absorb all that water, they plump, look delicious and beautiful, and we're ready to go. I'm gonna use a lot of the frozen vegetables I've taught you how to use. And if you haven't seen the video, it's amazing because I cook like this in minutes because I take once a month all of my seasoning vegetables, cut them, place them in zipper bags or in airtight bags and keep them frozen so that I don't have to cut up things every single day and my food is always flavorful and delicious. So here we have two cups of brown rice that I'm placing in the pot of a pressure cooker. And we're gonna add all our mung beans, which are about four cups of them, hydrated. So now we're gonna add two bay leaves, a teaspoon of our processed and chopped garlic that I have frozen, and a couple of teaspoons of our turmeric. Check it out, it's perfect. That's another of the foods that I freeze and I keep at hand all the time. Chopped ginger too, I usually freeze it in tiny, tiny ice cubes and then keep them in bags. Some of them, like I said, I put in airtight bags, I vacuum pack them. That is my green onion. So here we're measuring our green onion and we're adding it. So isn't it amazing how we can do this, put everything right back in the freezer and that's it. We don't have to get our hands dirty or anything dirty in the kitchen and we have an amazing meal full of flavor. So we add our salt and pepper. And we have a tablespoon of mild curry. And then we add our liquid. If it's only water, four cups. If it's water and a light coconut milk like this one is like two and two. And if it's regular coconut milk, just three of water and one of coconut milk. Coconut milk does not get absorbed as easily. It's thicker and it still needs some hydration. That so delicious coconut milk is good because it's not very heavy. Just use like one cup or two cups. So we place it on a pressure cooker, powered or regular, and cook it for 25 to 28 minutes. That's it, you're done. It's amazing. You're gonna see how easy it is and how you just get this whole delicious meal in minutes right there. Look at how beautiful it looks. It's amazing. All these foods are gonna flavor it and it's gonna taste amazing. All of those flavors are within your food. Beautiful and amazing mung bean rice and Latin style. Delicious diets are sustainable diets. Enjoy! Subscribe and turn on the bell for recipe updates.